Welcome to Baikumi. Today, I'm really excited to share with you a fun and tasty way of serving tuna that is not sashimi, sushi, or poke. This avocado tuna tartare is eaten with potato chips, which gives it great umami. A perfect dish to serve as an appetizer or to take to a dinner party, whenever those are allowed again. Let's get started. The ingredients today, honey, avocado oil or equivalent or just omit, unseasoned rice vinegar, this label of Mizcon is my favorite, soy sauce or tomato sauce, sesame oil, highly recommend karoya, creamy peanut butter, kosher salt, black pepper, fresh ginger, the skin should not have wrinkles, fresh garlic, green onions, ripe avocado, High quality tuna. This is the hardest part. Mine is actually frozen. Typically a Japanese market, which is where I got mine, usually has high quality tuna. Crinkle cut potato chips, nothing too exciting, just the sea salt flavor. For the tools, measuring cup to make the dressing, whisk to mix the dressing, measuring spoons, and if you have one, a measuring glass, spatula to help with the peanut butter, fork to mash the avocado, fine microplane grater, garlic press, small mixing bowl, cutting board and knife, paring knife for the avocado, paring knife or a spoon for peeling ginger, two serving bowls, one for the tartare and one for the chips. Time for the tuna. Use between three to four ounces and thinly slice. Then cut into smaller pieces. Now begin to chop. Continue until the texture is paste-like and then set aside. Now for the green onions. Clean one or two stems and chop. One stem seems to be enough. When finished chopping, set aside. Time to peel the ginger. Many use the edge of a spoon. I'm using a paring knife. Be sure to peel only what you need. Later, put any unused ginger in a Ziploc and squeeze out the air. Place in the refrigerator or for longer storage in the freezer. Now let's peel one or two cloves of garlic. Break off the cloves. Smash a clove with the flat surface of a knife blade, sharp edge away from you. Now the cloves should peel easily. Time to make the dressing. Add one quarter cup of honey to the measuring cup, one to two tablespoons avocado oil, one quarter cup rice vinegar, one tablespoon soy sauce or tomato sauce, one teaspoon sesame oil, one tablespoon creamy peanut butter, half teaspoon kosher salt, grate about one inch of peeled ginger, cut the end off the garlic, Using the garlic press, add one clove of garlic. Now whisk the ingredients. Sprinkle in some black pepper. Mix some more. Try it out. Hmm, need some more ginger. Whisk some more and try again. I think we're done. Now let's put everything together. Let's peel the avocado. Keep in mind I do this a bit differently. First cut off the stem area. Now cut around the seed. Peel off the skin, twist the peeled half off the seed and place in the bowl. Peel the other half. Now I pop the seed out by hand. Using a knife to do this makes me uncomfortable. Mash the avocado with a fork. Add the tuna. Now mix. Add in the green onions. Give the dressing a good stir. Add about three to four tablespoons of dressing. Mix completely. Let's taste a little. This is really good. Enjoy. 
Thanks so much for watching. And as always, for more information or a printable recipe, visit bykumi.com. And don't forget to share your photos. We'll see you again next week. Jane. Thank you.